I feel like you're the man of the hour. I mean, there, there's no other talk in town about this drug or these drugs and how much demand can increase. What's your main concern right now, um, Mr. Furgard Jorensen? Are you comfortable that you can meet demand for these drugs? Yeah, so thank you, Francine, for having me. So uh, I'm not concerned at all. This is a really unique opportunity for No Noise. We have seen a tremendous uh, willingness to, uh, to use uh, our, our obesity medicine, uh, not least in the US, but also in Europe, where we have launched. We have this week uh, announced a set of really attractive cardiovascular data, not yet in the label, so we cannot promote them. So this is just going to push the demand even bigger. And uh, we want to make sure that patients who uh, start on treatment can stay on treatment. So we will uh, keep restricting a bit the starter doses in the U.S. to make sure that patients can have a good experience and titrate up to the maintenance dose. But we have all dose strengths available in the U.S. We are increasing manufacturing. So this is indeed a very, very positive outlook. So what are you telling me? Shorter term, we could have more shortages, but then in the longer term, it'll be easier. Again, at what point do you anticipate to be able to meet demand fully? Well, we uh, have guided uh, over the past quarters that we are expanding our manufacturing. We have new lines uh, coming in. Uh, we have extra lines starting this year being ramped up. Uh, we have uh, more lines coming, coming in. So we'll constantly uh, keep growing. If you look at our financial reports uh, from, from this quarter, you can see a massive growth in the gl one based products. Uh, growing, you know, 50, 100, 200, 300 percent. So volumes are going up significantly. Now, I don't know how demand will develop. Uh, it looks like it will develop very strongly also because of our latest data. Uh, so we cannot tell exactly when we'll be able to meet demand uh, because we know, don't know what that demand is. But I can tell you that we'll be increasing manufacturing and this is going to drive growth uh, of Nord Norsk also in the coming quarters. Affordability, of course, is a huge, huge issue for patients and will be coming even more so if insurers start looking at covering some of these drugs. How do you justify charging four times as much in the U.S. as you do in Germany? Well, uh, you have to factor in that in the U.S., uh, rebates are also being paid, uh, so, so the prices you look to are, are different in the real, uh, real world. Uh, we are launching in the U.S., and supplies are going to the U.S. Uh, to a large degree right now. We just came out with uh, strong cardiovascular protective uh, profile to be added to the label, uh, we expect. Uh, so I think the value of obesity care is uh, being established these uh, these years, uh, and uh, most of our patients in the U.S. are on on insurance schemes, and they have uh, a very low copay uh, individually. Are you seeing a shift in payer attitudes given the profiles of these drugs? Do you think they'll really catch up into other jurisdictions as well? Well, we have seen uh, in the U.S. where we launched first a high willingness among payers to uh, adopt anti-obesity medicine when you get to the weight loss profile like, uh, like we bring. Um, in Europe, it's still to a lower degree reimbursed, and that's why it's important that we now have uh, the prospects of uh, adding the cardiovascular safety to the label. Uh, and I, I believe that treating obesity is going to be one of the uh, healthcare interventions that's going to have the strongest return in terms of preventing diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and number of cancers. There are more than 200 comorbidities linked to obesity. So yes, I do believe that for, for payers, this is going to be a very attractive proposition, uh, and uh, incre increasingly, increasingly so with the latest data we have reported. Uh, when do you expect to launch Vagovi in the UK, and what's holding you back right now? We have uh, launched in a few markets. In each and every market, we have seen a very, very steep uptake. Uh, so continuity of care is important for us. Uh, so we will gradually be rolling out uh, also outside of the U.S. We have uh, recently launched uh, in, in Germany, Germany, which is a, a focused launch because there was, was a window of opportunity there to make a, a special obesity program. And we'll gradually be uh, going to, to other markets in, in similar fashions. Uh, I cannot uh, comment on those exact launch dates, unfortunately.